You want to hear a neat Jesus did it testimony? The store in the background is located in the in the uh, center area of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this has been a hot spot for I think at least two years. A hot spot, I say, in that um, we have put out boxes and boxes and boxes, hundreds, thousands of copies of real life story testimony books in this store, and I have been amazed at how quickly people take them. Now this is an area of the city where folks don't have as much as folks living in the suburbs and there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah, I don't want to say poverty, but folks aren't that well off here and so I have just found that there's a lot of hunger in this area for spiritual uh, content. But I believe it's more than that. I just have to believe that maybe God is uh, uh, doing uh, some roots of a revival here in Grand Rapids. Uh, I don't know. All I know is these books, I put these precious testimony books out and they go like in a day or two. I'll put a box out, they'll be gone the next day. Put two boxes out, they'll be gone four or five days. And. I say this because I've known the devil has not liked it. And so I'm filming this um, here in the first week of June, a uh, week and a half of June. In the latter part of May, I was down here at this location to see if I needed to refill more testimony books and Jesus did it flyers and the Jesus did it flyer holder they too have been going Jesus did it flyers have been going it's amazing how how many are going in over this last two years maybe three but anyway I uh, came down here and uh, there was a lady uh, cleaning out in the area where we put the uh, testimony books and uh, we struck up conversation and she said to me, they don't want any uh, material going out here, no more of this religious material out here on the shelf where I put the books. And uh, I said, well, why? And she said, I don't know, they just said they don't want them out here, so I'm just passing it along. Well, I said, well, who's they? She said, I, I, don't, I don't know, she didn't want to talk about it. But they just don't want this stuff out here anymore. So I had to honor that and, uh, and thought, okay, we lost it. And I was very upset about that. Well, my good friend, my prayer partner and good friend in the Lord, Dan Van Hoven, Dan has been coming down because he's a part of an outreach here not far from this location. And he's helping pioneer an outreach uh, to this part of the Grand Rapids area. And, so he's had some boxes of books, and when it's convenient for him, he stops by and resupplies the, the testimony books and the Jesus Did It flyers if that needs to be replenished. And uh, so it's convenient for him and for convenient for me, and we'll praise God. And so I was just sharing with him soon after we lost the location how the devil got the victory here. And he said, well, let's just pray and ask God to restore that location, uh, if at all possible. Let's just pray for a miracle. And I said, yeah, you know, let's do that. And so, like so many other areas, so many other things that Dan and I have joined together, prayed in a prayer of agreement for, unselfish things that are God things, kingdom of God things, uh, it was Brother Dan who I just kind of let pray because I didn't have any faith. I was mouthing the words, but I didn't have the faith. Dan seemed to have the faith. He had the unction of the Holy Spirit. And he just prayed that God would do a miracle if it was God's will and that these books could once again be placed in the store for people to take free of charge. And so I just dropped down here. It's Thursday. I'm not even sure exactly what day it is, like maybe the 9th of June 2018, give or take a day or two, and I just, I've been down in the Grand Rapids area, again asking God where he would have me put out these testimony books, and I don't like to just put them out 
until I really hear clearly where the Holy Spirit wants me to put them out, whether it's just to stand, you know, on a street corner or some location and hand them out physically or sometimes set some out or however the Holy Spirit would lead at the given time. And so I came back down here. My heart is, oh, I just didn't want to give this location up. And I, so I drove down here to this parking lot and uh, we're at the corner of uh, Hall and Madison area in the Grand Rapids area. The store sits at the southeast corner of Hall and Madison. And and I'm looking at different options of maybe where I could set a box of these books out, and just put free on them. And I know people would take them, but I just, you know, it's so much better to have the books inside in a location where they're out of the elements of the weather and people are funneled going in and out of the store which it is here so it's it, you know it's not competing with shelf space in the store just a perfect spot for people to find the books and take them if they want and so many have wanted them uh, I've been here putting books in this location and people said hey they're coming out with a new edition or hey uh, you know I came down here to go to book and they're all gone you know somebody told me about it. I could get one of these testimony books and so there's just been a whole lot of uh, interest in these books. Uh, the few times I come down to resupply. And so anyway, I just went into the store. I had, I had to go to the bathroom and was looking to see if they had a restroom that I could use. And, and uh, so I walked into the store and saw that they didn't have a restroom. Now this is just an hour ago, okay? and. Uh, and so they didn't. So I'm looking around the store, thinking maybe I could use a bottle of water, a little dry. But then I needed to let go of some earlier liquid and they didn't have a restroom, so I'm weighing whether to try to hold it or do what. And I see some dignitaries standing talking. Looked like dignitaries to me. And so one guy uh, looked like a very important dignitary. And uh, his name was Sam, I found out, and told him my name, and I asked him if he was a manager or managers. He said, no, I'm not, but the, but the manager, he's talking to somebody right there, and I said, well, he said, why, what do you need? And so I told him about the situation with the testimony books and then losing it. How it's such a wonderful uh, blessing to the community to be able to get those books, and I felt that God would put his blessings on the store for allowing those books to go out and the Jesus Did It Flyers. Uh, myself, I've been praying for this location because of that, because I know the devil doesn't like that and God needs the prayers of God's people when the content like this is going out to keep the devil away. It doesn't just, just happen. Prayer coverage needs to go forth for a hot spot for Jesus like this one. And uh, so he said, now talk to the man. He said, try to let you put those books out. So, manager got talking to whoever he was talking to and he come up to me and I quickly introduced myself and told him what had happened and you know what it would be wonderful to be able to do to put those books back out there for people to have uh, if they want them and he said put them books out there he said that's no problem at all and uh, I said well I give you my you know ministry card if you need to get a hold of me contact me for any reason uh, uh, just please do so you know we're here to be a blessing to the folks in the community and I would think, you know, if you let us put those books out, God would be more inclined to bless your store. And I said, are, are you the existing owner or what? He's, no, no, I'm a new owner. We're, we're new owners. And he said, I'm going to manage the store. And so we're setting up a whole new operation here. And I said, well, I just want you to know, uh, I'll be praying for this store. I'm going to ask other people that know about this location and what's going on, that they would pray as well for your store that God would blossom it and prosper it and and uh, it would do well because you're willing to put out God material here. And he said, well, I sure appreciate that. Sam says, yeah, I sure appreciate that too. So, so folks, I'm just, you know, not only sharing this Jesus did it story, this is what Jesus did. He did a miracle. I mean, give me the option of walking on water and putting out these real-life story testimony books and these Jesus flyers. We're putting out Jesus content. We'll always walk on water. That doesn't save a soul walking on water. Putting these Christian testimony books out, saving souls and blessing and ministering and encouraging God's people. And 
Seeds are getting planted and watered, pointing people to Jesus Christ and what he accomplished for them on the cross, and they need salvation from him. And so please uh, pray, saints, as the Holy Spirit leads you. Make it, make it a, a prayer priority of yours to pray for this location and uh, that God would be able to continue to uh, not let the devil hinder in any way, shape, or form these testimony books that people can have here at this location. I would so much appreciate it. Now, as a PS, I'm gonna add another, this is kind of funny, and uh, I don't know where it's gonna go, but there's a family dollar store just not too many feet away from this uh, store we're talking about. And there's a gentleman that stands out there. He was there a year ago, I think two years ago. And he asked people for donations. He asked people if they got a little bit of money that he can have. And uh, I think most of the people that come here uh, in this area, go to the store, knows full well who he is. And I know that many of them gently try not to hurt his feelings, but most say no. He asked me if I had some money for a little donation to help buy something and he told me he's homeless and I heard that last year he's homeless and I think the year before that he's homeless and he could use some uh, you know a handout and uh, and uh, he's very gracious if you say no and I told him no I wasn't able to help him I didn't have any cash on me and he said well thank you and everybody that comes by he's he's asked he's very persistent so I'm watching this and I thought well you know Let's, let's see where this goes. So I went over and introduced my name. I'm Norm. He told me his name's Keith. And I said, Keith, you know, I think there's probably a way where you might uh, have people hand you a uh, donation more than just the way you're doing it now. What was that? I said, well, why don't you give people this uh, testimony book? Just ask people if they like a free Christian testimony book. And, uh, you know, I, rather than just asking for money, why don't you give them something first, something good? I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I'm doing okay. All right, well, you know, just thought I'd offer a little help here. And so I sit down outside the store, my little stool that I'm sitting on now, and started putting the uh, Jesus Did It flyers in a case of these uh, Edition 3 testimony books. And uh, so... He walks over in due time and, and uh, he said, yeah, give me a few of them testimony books. I'm gonna give it a try. I said, okay. So I gave him a handful, eight, nine, 10 of them. He walked back over to his position. Uh, and uh, my gosh, everybody goes by. He's, he's giving these testimony books away. I mean, it's like they're taking them. And I don't know if they're appeasing him or what, but they're taking them. And, before long, he's out. And he comes back and he said, give me a few more of them testimony books. Man, people really take these. I said, well, you got the stuff, man, you know? And so he gave out a dozen or so more and finally he's out. I'm watching, he's out. And uh, so I walk over and I said, well, Keith, I'm, I'm gonna go. I said, would you like for me to leave you a box of these testimony books to hand out? No, I said, I've done the Lord's work for you today. I said, well, what does that mean? He said, well, I, I don't want to do too much. He said, things aren't right with, with, with me and the Lord. And, and he said, it just aren't right. And uh, so I don't know, you know, I don't want to do too much. He said, I just want to do a little bit of the work of the Lord, but I don't want to do too much. And I said, well, I don't understand that. He said, well, he says, things don't always work right up here. But anyway, he said, I'm good to go. And I said, well, you know, if you feel inclined to to give more of these out, just remember, you know, the Bible says it's more blessed to give and to receive, and if you don't work, you don't eat. And I said, you go get some of these testimony books out of the store there, just come out where you're at, hand them out, bless people with them, and as far as I'm concerned, that's working for the Lord, and it's for a good cause, and so how, do, how can you lose? They said, well, I'm good for today, so I don't know where that'll go, but, uh, you can lift Keith up in prayer and pray that God will make him a productive member of society. And maybe he'll have a whole new career of handing out real life story testimony books. And maybe he'll get his socks blessed off and 
and uh, maybe he'll become uh, a very productive disciple for Jesus Christ. What a blessing that would be. That would be awesome. So anyway, just wanted to share what God did here, what Jesus did. And uh, we'll just keep uh, putting the camera up and filming. I'm thinking I'll come back in a day or two and see how many books are gone and, and put it on camera and just keep you folks updated on this particular video clip of how quickly these Jesus books, these uh, precious testimony books, these real life story Christian testimony books go in a high traffic area in the right sections of a community. It's just mind boggling I mean, I would have thought a year ago there was market saturation, but some of the people that come and get these books say, no, I'm giving these away as gifts. I'm sending them away. I come down here at Christmas time some months back. Oh, I'm sending these as Christmas gifts for people. They'll, they'll appreciate this more than anything else I can give them. So it's like, wow, this is, this is just such a blessing. And for those of you who uh, would like to see a blessing unfold in your city and your community, God needs one person willing to get a box of these books, start out with a box, put them out, monitor, watch, see what God does. And uh, you just can never know how many lives that God would bring to himself through Jesus Christ, just through these testimony books put out where people can find them. So there are ordering instructions below on how you can get a box of these testimony books. And even if you, for whatever reason, don't want to give these testimony books out, boy, if you can send a donation to the Precious Testimonies Ministry, that's awesome because we're having to buy the books. So we put the Jesus Did It flyers out free. We send those out to people free. We don't ask money for that. And so it helps to keep the ministry going and all of the different uh, aspects uh, that consist of the ministry, you know, doing the testimonies and uh, website, paying to keep the website up and, and the things that keep that going and, and the spiritual content that we put out, the testimony books and the Jesus Did It flyers. And, uh, you know, your donations might enable us to come up with sufficient postage to be sending these real life story testimony books to people uh, out of the United States. Uh, we get a special rate sending a box of these books to people uh, in the United States, but if they're sent out of the United States, then we have to pay big postage to send a box of these books. So if God provides through generous donations from people like yourself, Praise God, and if he doesn't, well, you know, we'll do what we can do. You can only do what you can do with the money that's available that comes in. Uh, so just, you know, just uh, be pray, praying about, maybe God would have you sow uh, a donation to Precious Testimonies or more. Uh, I can assure you that it will be a uh, very fruitful, seed or seeds that you're sowing into a very good outreach very fruitful outreach not because i'm a part of it but because we see the results of what uh, these testimony books and the jesus did it fire are doing in the highways and byways so thanks for listening and we'll see if we're going to add more to this or we'll make this a complete video clip and make more of them in the future it's summertime it's farming time it's planting and watering time, it's fertilizing time, and it's summer to get out in the highways and byways because it's not so easy to do once the snowflakes fall here in Michigan. So, until um, next time, Norm Rasmussen, just thanking you for, for your prayers on behalf of Precious Testimonies and your support, however you feel to do that. Thank you so much. God bless you.